Thrifty Thursday, and I don't know about you, but when I'm at the farmer's market, I am just drawn to all of those flowers out there. The veggies, too, of course, but the flowers are so bright, they're so colorful, and they're very inexpensive. You get a whole bunch of them, take them home, plop them in a vase, you're good. But if you want to take a step beyond that, you check in with Nicole from Petal Pusher because she has created all of these arrangements from how many? Uh, three bunches of flowers costing me $15. $15, yep. and you made all of this? Yep. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you have fun doing this? I had a blast doing it. It was funny, though, people who ran into me who know I own Petal Push would be like, why are you at the <laughs> farmer's market buying flowers? So I had to explain to everybody that we were doing some um, research for this appearance this And what morning. did you think about the flowers that you found? I, I had a blast with it. Yeah, there was a lot of fun stuff. Um, my hands-down favorite was the Dianthus, which we'll talk about in a okay. second. And then after I got home, I paired them with some fun stuff from my yard that a lot of people can access really easily. Um, and then we also did a little bit of produce mixed in with the flowers oh, today. Oh, so all we'll right. Well, let's get too. started. We're going to start down this way and work our way. Yep. So is this the Dianthus? This is the Dianthus. Look at this how pretty my absolute is. favorite. I picked up the bunch, I mean, and it was perfectly ready to go. I didn't really have to do much with it because all these colors just blend together so beautifully. Um, Dianthus is actually related to carnations. Okay. The carnations we see are a more advanced version of this, um, but personally, I like the classic just the way it is. And then what'd you put underneath there? This is hookara, otherwise known as coral bells. Um, I love this because we're so used to flowers being all the different colors of the rainbow thrown into one. Mm -hmm. I love this color palette because it's all these pinks and purples and burgundies and reds. Vibrant, very vibrant. vibrant but very sophisticated looking because it's all kind of analogous colors like you know, that. And a lot of us are growing these coral bells in our yard, so we just go pick a few leaves. Exactly. You'll never miss them. The plant will bounce back just fine as long as you don't steal too many from it. And not as vibrant, but still elegant. Yeah, I wanted to do something really clean in the greens and whites. Um, this is Yarrow from the Farmer's Market and Status, both of which are incredibly long lasting. This is a little bit of sweet Sicily from my yard and lemon balm, which a lot of people have growing in their herb garden and they have way too much of it and, and you, you don't, don't know, know what to, to do with it. Ooh, it's wonderful in fresh so flowers. Good. Then this is where the produce section comes in okay. because these beautiful green curly cues around the vase are garlic scapes. Get out of town. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. And then I just took it, dropped it in the vase, and let the curly cues hang over the edge. Smart. Really fun texture, very whimsical, gives a lot of movement to the design. Um, does have a little bit of an onion and garlicky fragrance, but the lemon balm. But I don't yeah, offset okay, that. That's true, <laughs> and I don't mind a garlicky smell. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. This one we did a little bit of dianthus paired with yarrow, and okay. then this is where I went again out into my yard and I used the poppy pods. Now that my flowers are done oh. on the poppies, these beautiful little pods give such great texture to things, and otherwise I'm just going to cut them off and toss, toss them. them. So right. I might as well enjoy them and for a while. Some hosta leaves in there. Some hosta to collar, just like the hookra. It's a wonderful, really easy way to finish a design and give it a very polished feel afterwards. And then I also in this one used a little bit of green raspberries. I don't know if you can see that, but they're not ripe yet. No, I love the texture of the texture. green. Can you they see were getting that a little, little bit out of hand in the garden. They needed to be pruned, so rather than waste them, we oh, used them for texture in the design. Very smart. And then this one, we've got a um, banding of leek foliage on the vase. Okay, that's why you have these down yeah, here. The leaf. You just wrapped it around the vase. Just wrapped it around the vase and knotted it. Ooh, smart, smart. Sunflowers. Yes, these are sunflowers from the farmer's market, and this I paired with Swiss chard. Okay. And if you look inside of the vase, this is the rainbow, rainbow bright or rainbow lights Swiss chard, so it's got all that beautiful color in now, the stem. It looks like rhubarb. It looks Could like rhubarb. Could you use your rhubarb that way? No, I cannot <laughs> use my rhubarb. I'm horribly allergic, as I found Could out the, the first time. the rest of us who are not? Absolutely. That okay. color of that red with the yeah, yellow look is fantastic. How, I mean, that's the, almost the prettiest part of the whole thing. It is, thing. and I in love a clear it. vase, you really get to appreciate okay, that. Okay, we have time for one more. Okay, this one on the end here, what I've actually done with this is done what we'd call a windswept design where you've got this horizontal oh. line. I've used branches, just twigs off of a tree or shrub Super in the yard, pretty. laid that across the vase, and then used that to weave my flowers through. So that provides the structure and the interest for everything. So you laid your, your branches down first. The branches are sideways. And then you stick Weave your the flowers through it. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Everything looks so pretty. Um, to see these ideas again, we'll post this online so you can go check it out, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. And if you would like Nicole to do arrangements for you, give her a call at Petal Pusher. That information will also be online. And she'll be back next hour with more great ideas. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. We'll be back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.